everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sabai Neelam Sachan and this is Neelam. In the last two videos, we have covered the law shirt from Bastar and the Dokra crop from the Chhattisgarh and Marisa region. And uh, what am I doing now? I need a pen stand. We are going back this way. So I was thinking I need a pen stand or something that uh, can hold these little pencils that are always lying there here and there. So I didn't want to buy anything. I wanted to weave something. Now I have coiled, I have sculpted, I have put the structure, skeleton and did all that sculpting and all. Now my dress goes. I want to weave something. But why not weave a pen stand? That is there. So from my previous skills that I have learned during my childhood and my trips to the village areas, I have learned how to weave those hand pans and all that. So I needed something to weave that. I didn't want to use all the paper and all. So I <coughs> wanted something that is more natural. So let's keep it here. So I did weave this using some paper and some grass and uh, some jute. I'll look at this video first and then I will uh, speak a little more about it and uh, understand that. Start by making the newspaper rolls of roughly one foot long per newspaper pieces. You can uh, use the smaller piece as well. Secure the ends using this glue nicely. Spray them with any color of your choice and uh, try to keep the newspaper rolls a little loose, not too tight. The next step is to cut out the base of the mold jar or the container, the shape that you want, you can use. I have used a glass jar with a circular base. I have cut two circles, one at the base and one to record it. Start putting the newspaper straws one by one next to each other. Try to keep the centers ends at the center. And remember that it has to be odd numbered because the even numbers will confuse you once you start leaving. So it has to be odd numbered. Just after securing, the secure the top part, which is going to act as the base of the inside of your pen stand. Let it dry and then take the twig or the grass straw and try testing it, bending it. It'll break. So what you have to do is dip it in the water and keep it that way for an hour or so and then try it, it will be flexible. So you can start by securing the first end and start weaving one up, one down, one up, one down that pattern. And that odd numbered paper straw will act as a change agent. So that will change the pattern once you reach the first row again. I used 17 paper rolls, so that gives me an odd number to start weaving with. Initially, yes, uh, it creates a little bit of a problem when you start weaving because the shape you have to start holding it. But once you weave more, it starts getting its shape that you require. As you can see now the glass jar is there because it was coming towards the center so I had to put the mold back in that is my glass jar so that it attains its shape that is uh, the desired shape the cylindrical one and by this time I was short of the lemongrass leaves that I was using for the weaving so I started with the jewel rope that is also again um, 
plant material. So I love the colors, that burnt sienna and the jute sage color. I love the combination. So I started weaving again with it. And it's the same pattern, one up, one down, one up, one down, and you can continue with it. You can turn the newspaper rolls back once you have the uh, achieved the desired height and leave and continue it and finish it with the material that you are weaving with. Now that's done. Isn't that okay? What that I have is, in case you want to create, look around yourself, whatever you have, try making something out of it without watching any videos. If you want to recreate something, just watch a video plan out all the materials that you will be needing then buy them collect them and all that that is recreative so create or recreate both ways i think you are going to enjoy and in case you did give this video a like share it with all your family friends and uh, i hope this helps with your art integrated projects and uh, the NEP demands of the Uh, and the demands of the NAP 2020. So, in case you like, please share, like, comment, and uh, do subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for giving me all this time that you guys have been giving. And uh, a big thank you to all of you. I'll see you in the next video with uh, something or maybe wave something nicer or maybe do some pottery what do you say what do you say i should do next weaving or the pottery thing i should learn that i think to explore the difficulties and all that let's see what i do next till then stay tuned stay healthy and keep waiting bye, -bye.